On the last episode of Dragon Ball Z. Nah, but on the last episode of Black Chicago Be Like Pi 103 Pi 2, I found myself having a wild dream that somehow ended up being oddly satisfying until I was woke up out of my slumber by a FaceTime call from a special someone of mine. She gave me a little more insight into the dynamics that surround a dude that kidnapped her offspring. Didn't really give me a lot of information I could actually work with, but I still promised her that I would try my absolute best to bring her baby home. I needed aid and assistance ASAP. One no question, I had bit off way more than I could chew. I linked up with Big Twine and gave him a rundown of the whole situation and what I needed help with. He thought I was a motherfucking fool, you hear me? That of which might have very well been true, but I loved it did that woman smitten head over mics and for that reason alone i was able to convince my big homie to help me blessings critical thinking took place immediately after with bro coming up with the bright idea of researching buddy on facebook initial findings revealed that my big homie actually went to elementary school with the man all we had to do was interrogate some of his former classmates a huge lead to start off with. My fuzz was ready to be under the Law and Order Act. Fundament order, if I may. In the hood with Picos and Blazers on business. We pulled up on the first person of interest. This dude named Ed. Quite the peculiar fella. He was the owner of this little buy hookah demo. My fuzz grilled him, but unfortunately, he ain't know too much of nothing for real, for real. The next person of interest we pulled up on was this mechanic named Dosey, a high school dropout who made something out of himself fixing on cars. He ended up being quite informative, for real, for real. Gave us our first real sense of direction for the day. He was a real one, in addition to being a robust R&B singer. Yeah, long story. The next place we pulled up to was actually a whole funeral home. There is where we questioned a freaky funeral services assistant and a cold and callous funeral director. They definitely remember Big Twan from school and ended up pointing us further in the right direction as well. The next person of interest we ended up pulling up on was this construction worker named Naeem. He was actually Wody's ex-best friend. Buddy gave us some key information. In addition to giving us a hilarious play-by-play -play recollection of the last tussle that he had with Wody. That of which resulted in a tally mark being etched into the losses side of his scoreboard. It was Naeem's instruction that sent us in the direction of our final destination. Wody cousin crib and old block we linked up with this chick named daphne who actually ended up saving my folks from getting on our ass enough for real we got the shorty slot well huh and big twine got the reminiscing on memories and experience from school after a while i couldn't take it no more and started questioning about the baby she got the plan stupid at first but it was just too much real nigga energy in the room. And eventually that got to shorty and she just came clean about it. Wody had her babysitting the whole time. She bop in the room and bring the baby right out. All in one piece. She told Big Twine she'll holla at Wody and don't even worry about it. A blessing for real, for real. So we thanked shorty and got up out of her expeditiously we leave out and what we come to find my car was being towed out of old block from parking by a fire hydrant i ain't really had time to deal with the situation for real for real i had to get that baby home so i just said fuck it and hopped in an uber it was cold as hell outside and that baby ain't even had no shoes on after the longest day and the longest uber ride to the suburbs 
that baby was finally returned to its own. I'm talking about reunited and it feels so good. She happily took her baby upstairs to get her settled as I waited downstairs by the front door. Then she came back downstairs and gave me the warmest and most affectionate hug. In the midst of her expressing her thanks and us exchanging our last remarks, her husband pulled into the driveway from that trip he had been on this whole time. She panicked. She rushed me and stuffed me into the hallway coat closet and then scurried back to the front door just in time to let her husband in. And to my surprise, he was the tallest midget in the world. As soon as the opportunity presented itself, she created a diversion, allowing me to attempt to sneak out of the house without a trace. Unfortunately, I wasn't very successful. She then had to direct me upstairs to hide and find some type of refuge, that of which I took under their bed. Probably the worst decision I ever made in my life. Under that bed is where I was about to endure one of my most traumatic experiences ever in life. Her spouse plowing my wife. I fell asleep under that bed, but she eventually woke me up and directed me to come downstairs so that she could successfully sneak me out of the crib. One no doubt about it though, I still loved it at that woman. I slid out of the back door like a smooth criminal, but in the midst of my getaway, her husband had caught me in the backyard. I tried to run a script on him, but that didn't work before he came and performed a jujitsu takedown on me. When our wife came to the door, she definitely swag surfed on me. Play me to the left, to the left. Bogus is here. Standing by as her husband treated me like I was some type of scoundrel. I couldn't believe she treated me like that. After all that I had did for that woman. The same woman that had just told me that she loved me. But what Tina Turner say, was love got to do, got to do with it. And now I was left standing in the cold, waiting for an Uber to get back to the city. Deep down in my feelings. Hurt. I was so on my thoughts, I couldn't even tell you how long I was standing out there. I ain't gonna lie. Didn't even notice how long it was taking the Uber to pull up. I had to pull my phone out and see what the progress was. It got to have said 10 minutes away for about 20 minutes. I was super blue, but it wasn't nothing I could do but wait. Eventually, they pull up. She, I'm a Uber for, is you Bartholomew? Ah, yeah, that's me. She, come on then. Rude as hell. I wasn't in the mood, but I had to get home, so I got in. We in traffic. I had to ask. I, Shit, what took you so long though? She, boy, I had to stop and get some motherfucking gas, fuck. This motherfucker was on ain't eat all day, empty. My bitch good now though. I, I, I'm saying though, you went to go get petrol after I had already requested the ride. Like, how you going to get gas on my dime though? I was confused. She, I did what I had to do. How was you gonna get to your destination if I ain't had a proper fuel? Is you cool? Yeah, shorty was different. I ain't had time. I get a text message. I pull my phone out, it's Big Twine. He, everything good, bro? Ah, not really. Shorty fake played me for real. She got the baby though. I'm in an Uber on my way back to the city now. He, damn bro, hit me when you get in the slot. I'm posted at one of my homies crib. Be safe. Ah, say less, love bro. All I had to do was survive this ride with this Uber driver. She get a call. She pick it up. She, hello. Look at me in the rear view. Nah, girl, I'm doing Uber right now. I could talk. What's up? Obnoxious with it. Oh, see. She, what? You say shorty got that clap, clap, bravo? She bogus as hell hitting all them niggas ain't telling them shit. Spreading all that around. Her new name, COVID. Wow as hell. She. Cause Kazar would never. 
He know I don't even play them type of games because I put the beast to his ass like Dr. Dre, girl. Ah, so you had me standing out in the cold and then you turn around and have an unprofessional conversation in front of a rider? Beyond me, she. Let me call you right back, girl. My little Uber rider must have just got dumped or something. He big man. Finna blow me. Like I did something wrong. I ain't had no type of energy for that foolishness. She turned the music on. She hours. I could do this for hours. Sit and talk to you for hours. I want to give you your flowers. But you would have thought she was at Trap Karaoke. I'm, this is not happening. She. I don't want to be with you. Put that on everything. I own. I can't believe I stayed around that damn long. But doing what she want to do. I is you serious though? She, what you mean am I serious? Like, what? Ah, you do know this is like one star service you delivering, right? Thought about it. If that, she couldn't have thought it was any more than that. She, star. I don't get no fuck about no motherfucking star. Fuck is your problem with me? Like, what is your frustration? Fuck. Ah, is you retarded? Yo, what? I went in trying to go back and forth. She, retarded? I show your ass retarded. You can get the fuck up out my car before your destination. But bugged up. Ah. Hey, let me on up out of here, man. Yo ass tweaking. Seven seconds later. <laughs> she peeling back off in the traffic. Left me dead on the side of the expressway in below zero temperatures. I took my phone out and requested another Uber while I could still feel my fingers. Had to notate and observe mile markers and some more shit just to make sure they got to me. If over it was a person, nice to meet you, you hear me? By the grace of God, I wasn't in the cold too long. I bell in, I appreciate you for coming fake expeditiously, bro. Shivering. He, shit, that was divine intervention, shit. I was on my way to the crib, man. I seen the request. I'm like, shit, I can make that extra cash. How you get on the E-Way anyhow? Ah, <sighs> goofy shit. My whole day been wild as hell. I ain't gonna lie to you. He, man, it be like that sometimes, my boy. You heard me. Ah, you ain't never lied. He, anything you wanna hear? You look smooth as hell, Joe. You want me to put on some Luther Vandross or something, Joe? Ah, nah, I'm cool, bro. Appreciate it. He, hey, man, I rap, man. You think I play a little song for you? You know what I'm saying? Let me know what you think about it. Ah, I, he, I bet. And turned it on. Instantly started getting groovy. I figured, why not? He came through in the clutch for me tonight. He, I'm off these motherfucking drugs. Walking through that motherfucking club. I just bought a 40 in that motherfucker hurt. And that motherfucker got some slugs. I don't get no fuck about the ops. For the ops. Boy, we getting money the ops for the ops i'm a rich nigga so i don't chill on the block no more i'll be riding around with them glocks shoot a motherfucker in his forehead i don't give up i want some more head shorty thick as she got that awesome jawsome i got all that money on me lost them lost them pancake ad niggas flipping she suck my she say let's shake old finger lick i don't get no got water whip the kitchen now I'm getting money, a nigga need a kidney. Went too cool, you hear me? I, man, I ain't even gonna lie, that shit raw as hell. He turned the music down, he. Man, I appreciate that, bro, man, I ain't gonna lie, though, man. Motherfuckers trying to make it out the hood, you feel me? I, nah, for real, keep making shit like that, you taking off, you hear me? Keep going. He, man, bro, I appreciate that, though, man. But, hey, man, I ain't even got enough gas to get you where you need to be. But if you can go with me to my baby mama crib, I can get the G money from her. Then I can get you home from there. Ah, right. come on, bro. Uber been fucking me up today, boy. He, damn, my bad, bro. But just for the inconvenience, I in the trip right now. Still get you to the crib. Ah, right. I. After that, I get a text. I pull out my phone. It's Big Twine. He, you good, bro? Ah, hell no. Nah. These little Uber situations is tweaking and my heart broke, lol. He, I'm finna grab my homie wheels and scoop you, send low. I bet. One hour at a time at this point. We finally get to the Uber driver's dwelling. We get in. 
I took the closest seat I could find to the door. I ain't know what motherfuckers was on. He aight man, look, welcome to my humble abode, man. Make yourself comfortable. I'm finna go holler at my wife so I can get that wild. Then we gon' hug. Ah, I cool. And waited. His BM come from the back sheet. Nah, that's the whole purpose of you doing Uber. I ain't finna give you no more money. Domestic dialogues. He pop out from the back. He, first of all, what we not finna do is show out in front of the company. Don't do that on folks. She, I don't know who dude is. Watch out. At that moment, I knew I wasn't getting home if she had anything to do with it. I instantly sent my load to Big Twine. He hit me back. Seven minutes, whole time. Perfect. He, man, get off that, man. I old bro, man. I'm trying to D shorty off to the crib, man. Give me some G money and stop tweaking, man. She, I, right, whatever. And you need to talk to your cousin about steady eating my baby fruit snacks. He, what? And storm into the kitchen. Mad as hell, too. He come out with the fruit snacks. He, oh, hell no. Nah. Hey, Cuddy, check it out, G. Check it out, folk. His cuz that pop out the back. Oh, Neil, what up, cuz? Fool, why you got on my jean jacket, man? What I tell you about wearing my garments, folk? His cousin, Lord, I ain't even know this was yours, man. Oh, man, how you ain't know that motherfucker real stupid, goofy young? Stop playing on me, folk. It was adolescent, though. He, I, right, Lord. Man, let me wear this motherfucker tonight, solid. Fool, man, why the fuck you going to my door to fruit snacks, man? You ain't got no lick running through this motherfucker, though, but you forever eating shit, man. For real, man, goof ass, man. His cousin, Lord, I ain't ate all day, man. Plus, ain't no telling if it's finna be food at the party, man. I'm hungry, shorty. And up the pack of fruit snacks, fool. Full stop. And instantly get the coming out his jacket. Fool was on that. He get the dusting off the dukes. <laughs> I'm finna beat the dog shit out you, folk. His cousin, what? On TVL. You got me fucked up, Lord. And then proceeded to participate in quite the struggle with coming up out of full jean jacket. Fool, fool, you just stretched my jacket out, folk. I'm finna beat you, folk. I'm finna crease you. Right at that moment, Big Twine texted me outside, bro. That was my cue to exit stage left. Big Twine brought me over to one of his homie cribs after telling him what happened. He said I needed some fresh air. I ain't even had the energy to fight about it, so I just slid with him. His homie, what's good with you, bro? My name Bella. He, you say your name who? He, Bella, nigga. Assertively, ah, for sure. A Hummer labeled under a Kia. All right, cool. Big Twine asks Bella, hey, bro, what time them little demos supposed to pull up? He, shit, they say about half an hour, kid. Big Twine, boy, they said a half an hour before I left. What's to him? He, shit, man, you know how they be. Probably getting their makeup done or something. I don't know, man. Twine, man, all right. He look at me. Boy, your ass need to cheer up. I look up. Ah, I'm good, bro. Knowing damn well I wasn't, Twine. Man, the little demo's finna pull up in half an hour, man. You need to loosen up, have a cookie. And pointed toward a plate of cookies on the table in front of me. Ah, bro, why is you offering me cookies, G? Watch out, what's to you? I'm a grown ass man. He, no bro, them them cookies, fuck Tim L. Ah, cookies? You know I don't even partake. I don't even play them type of games, bro, you tweaking. He, man, go on ahead, take one, bro. Your ass need it. You sick over there. Take one. He might have been right. So I said, fuck. Went and grabbed a cookie. Looked like a regular cookie. I bit into it. Tasted a little funny, but it wasn't nothing that I couldn't deal with. I don't know what all the hype was about. I, I don't feel nothing. Very much giving huff. Ah, what's to these? Bella, man, slow down, big dog. I'm trying to tell you. As I killed the last of the cookie I had, ah, these cookies ain't on shit. And reach for some more. I was hungry anyway, so at least that purpose was being fulfilled. Big Twine, I, I, ah, whatever. I don't know if it was because the cookies was actually good or because I was famished, but I dog them motherfuckers i ain't even gonna lie to you i'm on the couch finishing up the last cookie to be honest it fake felt like it was lasting forever big twine you okay over there boy my neck turned fast as hell it, i i'm okay bro 
it. <laughs> Bella, this dude here, man. So while I'm sitting there trying to figure out if you can daydream at nighttime, I peep something out of my peripheral. Casually walking down the steps was the executive producer behind BMF and Power. I was stuck. I couldn't believe it. I 50? Big Twan, look, he 50. Boy, what the fuck is you talking about? I, bro. Curtis Jackson. Is standing right there, bro. You're not finna tell me you don't see that man right there, bro. Big Twan just looked at me. He's stupid ass. 50. Many men wish death upon me. Blood in my eyes, dog, and I can't see. I'm in concert all by myself. Heat. I'm just trying to be what I'm destined to be. And niggas trying to take my life away. I put a hole in a nigga for fucking with me. Lost that C. He, my back on the wall, now you gon' see Better watch how you talk when you talk about me Cause I come and take your life away Many men, many, 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 many men Wish death pun me, Lord, I don't cry no more Don't look to the sky no more Have mercy on me Double parked in the twilight zone for sure After his performance, he turned around and crept back up the stairs and then vanished. I immediately got up and walked over to the stairs to see if it was something I had missed. Nothing was there. I, nah, y'all not gonna make it seem like I'm tweaking. Nah. Big Twan, boy, sit your ugly ass down, boy, your ass tweaking. At the moment, that's the only thing that made sense for real. I had to be tweaking. I walked back over to the couch and took a seat. I had to regain myself. I was losing it. Bella, is you good, bro? Ah, yeah, I'm cool. After that, you won't believe who rose up from the other side of the couch. Machiavelli. And he was throwing up West Side. Ah, Tupac not dead? Bella. Tupac, he looked behind the couch. He, fuck. Pop, come with me. Hail Mary, run quick, see. What do we have here now? Do you want to ride or die? La, da, 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 la, la, la. I'm like, okay, at this point, I'm probably asleep. I done had a long day. I ain't even woke. I can't be woke. Pac, I ain't a killer, but don't push me. Revenge is like the sweetest joy next to getting pussy. Picture paragraphs unloaded. Wise words being quoted. Peep the weakness in the rap game and sold it. I had to really take in the reality that one of the biggest hip hop legends of all time was giving me a private performance. Pac, bow down, pray to God, hoping that he's listening. Seeing niggas coming for me to my diamonds when they glistening. Now pay attention, rest in peace, father. I'm a ghost. Okay, now, I think I'm crazy. I think I'm crazy. Shortly after that, Tupac sank down to the depths of nothingness behind the couch. I got up and ran to the couch to see if he was behind there and he was gone. Yep. I needed medical attention ASAP. I was convinced. I return back to my seat questioning everything that once upon a time made sense and made sense out of everything I used to question. Bella, Twan, Twan, man, get your homie, man. Twan woke up, he. All right, man, we finna get up out of here. Bella, hey, bro, before you leave, bro, I got some more cookies in the oven. You will get them out for me? Big Twan, all right. He got up and walked toward the kitchen. He grabbed for the oven mitt, reached in the oven, pulled the cookies out. He brought them cookies, burnt his heel. Bella, that's cool. Big Twin I and started walking toward the front door. It was definitely time to get up out of there. I stood up to follow Big Twine. But right before I got to the kitchen, I see a figure hop off the cookie sheet and say, man, the packages say, 400 degrees, 40 minutes. Been in there for an hour. Damn. <sighs> yep, it was a wrap at that point. I, Antoine, 
One of them cookies just hopped off that pan, bro. Get me out of here, bro. Get me out of here, bro. It was clear that I was no longer any good to society. He came back in, slung me over his shoulder, and carried me up out of that mom. I was through. Finito. Next thing I know, I was woke up the morning after from a call from Big Twan. I was tired as hell, sluggish as hell. But I got up out the bed, picked up the phone and answered, I, what's good with you, bro? He, grand rising, bro. You good? SMH and I, I'm good now. I shouldn't have even touched those. I don't know why I let you talk me into that, boy. He, boy, your ass was tweaking. SMH and I, I'm already knowing. I don't even remember how I got in the bed, boy. He, boy, I had to put you over my shoulder like a sack of potatoes and carry you up out of there. I never a gain. You hear me? Never a gain. He, I was just trying to help you to get your mind off of things. You over that now, right? At that very moment, she texts me, Grand Rising, baby. I text you, hit me back. Put me and my feelings all over again. Pitiful, I. You know the only song that can really describe how I'm feeling right now, bro? He. <laughs> what song is that? I. Nobody wants to be alone. If you touch by the words in this song, then baby, you fight him out. Oh, 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 oh. Hang up and you call right back. You got it, you got it bad. When you miss a day without your friend, your whole life's off track. No, you got it bad when you stuck in the house. You don't want to have fun. That's all you think about. For now. You got it bad when you're out with someone. But you keep on thinking about somebody. You got it bad. I'm trying to tell you. Big Twine. Boy, your ass dumb as hell. They say the quickest way to get over somebody is to get under somebody else. I think I got somebody for you. Ah. Hmm. Is that so? He, whole time you know Shorty from O Block last night? Ah, yeah. He, she hit me up this morning asking what was your Facebook name? Yo ass better hop on that. Ah, oh yeah. She trying to see what's to me. He, she gotta be if she want to know your name, boy. Ah, oh well, shit. Motherfuckers will see what's up. He, whole time when you trying to get your truck? Ah, shit, right now. He, boy, they got your shit at Doty Road. Ah, I'm already knowing. He, all right, I'm gonna meet you up there. Ah, all right, I'm finna get dressed right now and get up out of here. He, shit, say less. Ah, bet. First order of business to get my truck. After that, get shorty off my mind, or at least try to. I get up that Adobe Road right off 103rd. My attempt to retrieve my baby was successful. I know she missed me. We pull off the lot, Big Twine. They be thirsty as hell, boy. Ah, I'm lucky I got my shit back in a decent amount of time. You know they good for telling you like you ain't got no city sticker. You gotta go do that. Then you gotta go pay pocket tickets. Boy, you fuck around, don't get your shit back to the next day. So I can't be nothing but grateful for real, for real. They did hit my pocket something different. I ain't gonna lie. Big Twine, man, you done went through all this and that woman done broke your little heart. Right then, I get a text from her. She, hey, baby, I miss you. I need to talk to you. I, right, you done spoke up. Big Twine, shorty been hitting you up all morning, huh? I, right, hell yeah. I ain't been responding, though. He, I know it, because she knows she bogus. Deep side. Fuck love. I. Right. So where I'm dropping you off at, bro? He, what direction you finna go in? I tore downtown whole town. I decided I'ma slide to the gym today and try to work some of this like bad energy off. I've been thinking about Shorty all this morning. She been hitting me up. I've been wanting to respond, but 
I got a shake shorty for real, for real. He, nah, I definitely feel you. You can go ahead, don't finna have my little snow bunny send me a oob. I'm finna get on up out of her. Ah, right, you sure, bro? I can beam you off wherever you gotta go right quick. It ain't shit. He, nah, for sure, I'm good. I'ma check on you a little later. Ah, right, blessings. Well, shit, at the very least, shit, we'll just sit here until your Uber come. He, cool, cool, cool. About 15 minutes later, it pull up. He, yep, there you go right there. Just hit me and bell out. A real one, man. I don't know what I'd do without him. Ah, I, I bet. And proceeded to be on my way to the gym. It took for me to get my heart broke for me to decide to get swole on y'all ass. Now I'm flying down Stony to hit Lakeshore Drive. And my thoughts trying to find some type of peace. Out of nowhere. Whoop whoop. 12 get behind me. Ah, fuck. Now my anxiety all the way up in the midst of me trying to find some type of calm. I had just got a new play stick and I knew my tail lights wasn't out, so what was the problem? This lady cop get to walking up to the driver's side window. She knocked. I let the window down. Ah, is there a problem, officer? Her partner walk up to the passenger side window. He not. He. Man, let the goddamn window down. The lady cop. Well, you were going kind of fast, but um, first, can you let the window down for my partner over there? I let the passenger window down. He. So where you going in such a hurry, man? I. To my intended destination. He. You got license and insurance? I. Yeah, I do. He. So this your truck? I. Why wouldn't it be? He, it's been a lot of carjackers going on, so I gotta ask. I, oh, okay. He, hey, you know what? I don't really like your attitude, for real, for real. Get your ass out the car. The lady cop, bro, I got this. You can go back to the car. He, you sure? He seemed like he gonna be some trouble. She, nah, I'm pretty sure I got it, bro. Thank you. SMH and he, boy, this nigga lucky. And pimped off. I, what's to your partner? Daniel Powder, he had a bad day. She, he just a little rough around the edges, but um, let me get your license and insurance. Ah, yes, ma'am. I reached for my wallet, that of which was in plain sight, grabbed my license and handed it to her. Ah, my insurance on my phone, I'm finna pull it up. She, all right, let me run this and I'll check your insurance when I come back to the car. And left to go check my credentials. While I'm sitting there waiting for her to finish that, I get a FaceTime call. It's my OG whole time I pick up. I, hey, what's up, mama? She, hey, son, what's going on? She worried now. I, it ain't nothing, mama. Motherfuckers just pulled me over. She, it always start out as nothing until they pulling you out the car and beating the fuck out you. You okay? I, well, it's two cops that pulled me over. Now, if it was the male cop by itself, I probably would have been Billy Club to death already. But the lady cop seemed to be a little more level-headed, so I'm pretty sure everything would be cool. She, I was calling you because I wanted you to pick me up some pads. Ah, mama, I don't know how to shop for those. She, I'm finna tell you what to get. You gotta get extra large, three layers. And don't come up in here if they ain't extra large, son. I ain't got no little cat. I got a Garfield. Throw the whole mother away. I, you never cease to amaze me, mama deep side okay i'ma get there as soon as possible and i'ma drop them off to you she thank you because i know it's coming my breast getting tender ah okay i'll see you as soon as possible tenderoni she boy get your dumb ass out of here bye right after that the lady cop walked back up to my car hand me my license Ah, thank you i go to put my license back up she i'ma need you to step out the car Bro, I already had enough going on. I don't know what life was on with me. I step outside the car, as ordered. It was cold as hell outside. I had a heavy heart. What else could go wrong? The lady cop, that's a pretty nice truck you got there. Bewildered. I, right. yeah, thanks. She, looks like it's a lot of room in the back too. I, right. is that against the law or something? I wasn't aware. She, only thing that's against the law is that we don't know each other personally. The situation was really starting to give me set up vibes. 
eyes squint eye is your body cam on she oh you in the making tapes huh wow her partner we got a shooting on 71st and eberhardt we gotta go and hit the radio to let them know they in route she okay deep sigh well if you ever want to call me just dial 911 and winked and pimped off i had too much going on to be getting pulled over and told to get out my car for nothing it could have been much worse so i just hopped back in the truck and peeled off i finally make it to the gym i walk in ready to work off all the feelings and emotions that had been weighing me down it was a decent sized space not too big so i ain't have to worry about a thousand motherfuckers around ellipticals a punching post a weightlifting area exactly what i needed it wasn't nothing left for me to do but to get to it it was time to get musty i started out on the barbells had to work on my triceps and biceps you had strength bigger arms ain't gonna hurt nobody unless i want them to <laughs> This lady walk up to me, she, okay, I see you over there, muscle man. I look up, I, I'm starting off light cause it's been a minute since I worked out and I don't wanna, you fed me. Gotta pace yourself. She, oh, okay, I feel it. So when's the last time you been in the gym? I look back up, I, I couldn't even tell you. It had been quite some time, she, so you ain't got no workout party meeting you up here or something? Ah, hell nah, solo dolo today. She, well I'm a personal trainer so let me help you out a little bit, muscle man. Ah, whole time, I don't know how much you charge but I got my truck towed last night. I had to drop bread to get that up out of us so I ain't got it, I ain't gonna hold you. She, I'm sorry to hear you got your car towed, how that happen? Ah, man, long story short, I was out here trying to step for somebody that didn't deserve that type of energy. For somebody that didn't appreciate me. For somebody that didn't recognize that they had somebody in their corner. And as a result, I had to suffer for that. So yeah, she sounds deep. Well, today my service is on the house, so you won't have to worry about that. I, oh man. That's a blessing. Thank you. Next thing you know, I'm standing in front of her with ropes on the floor. She, okay, so these are battle ropes. Battle ropes are used to challenge your arm and shoulder endurance. Follow me? I nod, yes. She, okay, so are you gonna ask me for my Instagram? I got a question mark on my face. She, you know, follow me, follow me. Never mind, it was just a joke. So I'm about to show you how to use these, okay? I, oh. You funny as hell. I bet. She. So you're gonna grab the green part, get in the squat position, keep your back straight. And then she did a certain motion with the ropes that immediately had my head hurting and my high beating fast as hell. I hated it. She stopped and looked up. She. What's wrong? I. Oh, no, it's nothing. It's just that when you was doing a little. It kind of reminded me of Double Dutch and this girl I used to talk to when she was younger. She used to love jumping Double Dutch. I was so pitiful. She, <laughs> well, okay, it's your turn. And then she stepped away so I could step up and do my shit. I picked up the ropes, squatted down, and straightened out my back to get in position. She, all right, let's see what you got. Soon as I start doing the ropes, I envisioned my ex-wife in the middle while I'm jumping double dutch. I, I ain't even drawing off of this whole time. She, uh, that wasn't bad, but if you wanna try something else, we could try something else. Ah, bet. Hopefully the next exercise ain't take me down another memory lane. She, so now we're about to do the tire drag. The tire drag focuses on lower body strength. Okay, I, okay, I, right. she, cool. So this is how you do it. She walk around the tire, she, gonna keep your feet shoulder length apart. You're gonna bend down, do a quick hop step backwards and then pull the tire towards you. Like this, one, 
two, three. You see? Simple. I right. look easy enough. She, your turn. And then step to the side so I can step up and do my shit. I pimp up to the tire, planted my feet, squatted down, hop step. <laughs> she get the damn laughing. I, I'm doing that bad, huh? She, no, it's just my view from here. Reminds me of this meme I saw on Instagram. This boy gets out the car and his butt crack is showing. And the girl saw it and he said she didn't call him back after that. I, funny as hell. She, but I will call you back though. Meanwhile, I'm focused as hell, trying to do this tire pull. She, now remember, you gotta put your back into it. You know how to put your back into it, don't you? I, yeah. I had to use my back the night before last, for real. She, mm, okay. Now I had my ex-wife on my mind again, having flashbacks of the night before. It was over with now. I had to give up on the tire drag. Pitiful. She, it's okay, muscle man. We could try something else. Come over here. Third time had to be the charm. One no way another activity was gonna have that lady on my mind again. She, okay, so now we're gonna work on a functional trainer. And we're gonna do some chest flies. I had to get my head in the game up. Okay. She, now chest flies are used to enhance your pectoral muscles. You got me? Ah, cool. She, okay, so you gotta stagger your stance. You're gonna bring the grips out in front of you. And then back. Okay? Ah, <laughs> look simple enough. She, all right, you can do it now. And then step to the side so I could do my shit. I, all right. I pimped up to the functional trainer, grab the grips, stagger my stance. I was finally about to get a workout in, or at least I thought I was. She, <laughs> all right, now you wanna do it like you're hugging someone. I, oh, like I'm hugging somebody. Okay. I tried to do it again and then thought about my ex-wife and then I, let me hold you down. She, okay. I got a feeling that the girl who you got your truck towed for is also the girl you had to put your back in it for the other night. And also the girl who got you in here doing the bow wow hug on the functional trainer. Either her critical thinking was top tier or I was too obvious. More than likely the latter. I, I'm sorry, like shit. She just got my head all messed up like I can't even concentrate on nothing. She, it's okay, I understand. So is that your ex-wife or something? Ah, basically, sick. She, you seem like a pretty nice man. I'm sure she misses you just as much as you miss her. Ah, <laughs> I guess. I'm finna get up out of her. But I appreciate all your help for today, for real, for real. I want to make no type of progress or nothing. I ain't even getting musty. Stood in there and wasted that woman time. They say you not yourself when you hungry, so. I figured I'd slide to Chicago's chicken and waffles. I got a text right after I sat down. I pulled my phone out and it was her, she. Please hit me back, baby. I miss you so much. I need to talk to you. I wasn't gonna allow my flesh to be weak. I figured it'd get stronger after I eat something I hadn't ate all day. The waitress came. Hey, Sugarfoot, what can I get for you today? Mm, I, yeah, um. I think I'm gonna take the Saint and Carol. She, so what you want? Three wings or breast and thighs? I, uh, I think I'm gonna do the wings today. She, you sure? The breast and thighs is good and real tender too. Real tender. Thought about it, I, nah, I think I'm gonna do the wings today. I appreciate it though, ma'am. She, ma'am, don't call me ma'am, making me feel all old. I'm still a young whippersnapper, you know? Ah, nah, my bad. Shout out to my OG, you know, manners. She, it's all good, I understand. I'll be right back with your food, baby. And she left to go check on my order with the kitchen. Right after that, I got a call. It was a FaceTime from my younger sister. Ah, what you want, green eggs and ham? She, Pink Panther, what's good with you? Ah, so what reason do you have to disturb my peace today? She, mama told me to tell you don't forget to pick up her pads. Ah, okay. 
I make sure to get them. She, if you can't remember what size to get, just take one of the pads, put them next to your teeth, and if they the same size, you Gucci. I, get off my phone, dweeb. She, the pleasure would be all mine, unattractive sir. A bug. I got off the phone with her and continued to wait for my food. Not too long after the waitress, here's your food. You let me know if you need anything else, anything. Great customer service for sure. I thank you so much. I got ready to say my grace before I got greasy. Boy, I did that chicken and waffle so fucking dirty. You hear me? I was hungry as hell. Famished. The waitress came back to the table. She, oh, shoot. You eat everything like that? I could understand it. I did clean that plate. I, <laughs> you funny as hell. She, what's on your mind, young man? Deep sigh, I, a woman that broke my heart. She, let me tell you something, took a seat. If this woman broke your heart, chances are she the only one that could fix it. Not what I wanted to hear, I, I hear you. She, go and talk to her. And if that don't work, come on back down here and see about these breasts and thighs. I, <laughs> I, what's the total? She, don't worry about it. It's on the house. I, <laughs> real nigga activity i appreciate you and i got up and left that was nice of her motherfuckers needed that blessing i slid to the store to go pick up my mama pads i ain't even know where to look what al to start at or nothing irritating as hell and i wasn't finna call my mama and ask her because then she was just gonna add more items to the list while i was roaming through the aisles you won't believe who i saw sitting at the pharmacy Dude who played shorty that did me dirty at the gas station and left her for the look person. Both of them was in there arguing about something. Fake loud as hell. Little lady, I know what I know. I gotta do it. Buddy, you act like you did this by yourself. Ain't no iron team. She, it definitely ain't, but it's an iron pill and I'm finna pop this motherfucker. He, where's this energy coming from? We was all good just a day ago. How did we even get to this point? She, look bro. You fucking up the algorithm. You be whooping my shit and all that. Don't get me wrong. But I'm not trying to start no family with you. It's over with. He. Can we go back to the days our love was strong? Can you tell me how a perfect love goes wrong? For no grade. Can somebody tell me how to get things back the way they used to be? Oh God, give me the reason. I'm down on bending knee. For the gray, his ass was on that. You hear me? He. I'll never walk again until you come back to me. I'm down on bending knee. His ass snap on my ex-wife, boy. One shorty right over in there. They hugged it out and pimped right off. Boy, they had a baby on the way. Y'all ass taking. Amazing. I continued my search and end up finding the owl with the pads. Didn't know they had so many different types made me dizzy out of nowhere this girl bartholomew ah bella old classmate she boy i ain't seen you since fourth grade how you been ah I, I can't complain one day at a time she she boy who got you in here buying pads ah my og wild as hell she you look like you need some help ah all i know is she said she got a guy feel so i'm just trying to you fed me she lol she let me help you she stepped in and offered her services and womanhood she grabbed a pack of pads off the shelf and handed them to me she so nine times out of ten those the ones she wants you to get ah you probably saved me by the hour of being up in this motherfucker thank you she i know this is random but you remember we used to play seven up in class ah unfortunately i try to block those times out of my mind for real for real she and remember we was the only two students that got to clean off the board at the end of the day ah fendi facts and motherfuckers used to be hating hard as hell too 
She, so what you be up to nowadays? You married? I immediately got sick to my stomach. I, nah, not quite. She, mmm, that seemed like that question touched you deep. Deep sigh. Ah, it be like that sometimes, you know? She, I don't know where this is coming from, but something is telling me to tell you that you need to talk to her. Right at that moment, I get a text. I look at my phone, it's her, she, baby. Ah, it's crazy, she just hit me up too. Bella, well, I wish you the best of luck with that, boo. And she turned around and walked off. It was always a blessing coming across my folks I went to school with and to see that they alive and well. Me and Bella conversation, it had me thinking. I bought the pads and left out and then decided to make an impulsive decision, hopefully the right one. I text my ex-wife, where you at? She, ready to be wherever you tell me to come. I missed you so much. I, I'm finna send you a low, meet me there. She, okay, can't wait to see you. My head got the knocking and my heart got the beating fast again. I linked up with her and then bopped in the hug car so I could hear what she had to say. It was an awkward silence at first cause I was still feeling the way for real. She, thank you for linking up with me today. Her feelings wouldn't let me respond to her for real. She, I missed you. Did you miss me? I wanted to say of course but I probably had too much pride to admit it. She, so you didn't miss me? Hmm, I understand. That made my blood boil for real life. You trying to play some type of mind game or something? Blue, she, no, what are you talking about? I, I wouldn't be in my feelings if I didn't miss you. She, okay, but I've been calling you all day and you've been ignoring me. I, how you expect me to feel? Do you know what I went through to make sure I put a smile back on your face and return your kid back to your warm embrace? Bars. She just smiled or whatever. I, but nah, all jokes aside, I rescued that baby from old block 64th, not 63rd. I got my truck towed. Then I come here and have to witness my wife being whooped by her husband just for you to front on me like that. And then even after that, it didn't even stop. I got this crazy Uber drive I got left on the side of the expressway. I done had a whole experience with some... <sighs> Deep sigh, SMH. That shit wasn't cool. I put my neck on the line for you. And then you know I feel for you for real. I was too tight. She fronting on you. What was I supposed to do? I had to make it seem like I didn't know you. I mean, what she said made sense, but I was still hurt. She, why you think I told him to leave you alone? I mean, I know I called you retarded and all, but that was for the sake of the situation. She, I love you. And I would never do you the way you thought I did you. I, you wanna know what song you had me feeling like all day? She, what, dangerously in love? I. And I wish I never met her at all. Fuck Tim Hill. I was over in my feelings. She, baby, I'm so sorry. I love you so much. My heart got the beating out the front of my body. Ah, I, I love you too. The energy in the L was so passionate and heavy. She get the slowly coming up out of her coat. I already knew what time it was. My little demon, she come out of it. Then she grabbed my arm and started helping me come out of my coat. I come up out of mass. And then I come up out of my hoodie. She ain't have much space in the back of her vehicle, but every inch of it was about to be utilized. I ain't gonna lie to you. I started coming up out of my t-shirt. It must have felt some type of way because it started beating my motherfucking ass. I couldn't get up out of it for nothing. My baby peeped my struggle, came to my rescue, assisted me with coming out the rest of my t-shirt. I, a real one, was struggling. Thank you so much. She, you welcome, boo. It wasn't nothing else to talk about at that point. I grabbed her neck and in return, 
She took my soul. Ain't leave no crumbs. Man down, I, I'm never gonna leave you alone. She turned and looked at me. She, you better not. <laughs> Man, it was just something about shorty. She just gave everything she was supposed to give. Every time. She. Round two fight? Energy. I, I definitely would, but I got to drop something off to my OG crib. Can I get a rain check? She. Of course. But nah, something I wanted to talk to you about before you go. Ah, what's up, baby? She. Wody been hitting my lineup all day from different numbers, mad as fuck. Now, I don't know what he capable of, so I wanted to give you a heads up. Ah, I, I appreciate it, baby. But look me in my face. I ain't got no worries. Fuck Tim L. It's cool. She. I know, baby. But I'm gonna let you get up out of here. Ah, let me get myself together. You got me all discombobulated. But for a good reason, though, that's for sure. I start getting dressed. She, you able to drive to your OG house? Ah, hell yeah. I'm finna get up out of here, honey. I love you so much. She, I love you too, baby. Do do, do do. Looked at her one last time, and then I left. And just like that, I had my wife back. I shouldn't have been in the cold sweating like that, but I had to drop my mama pads off. I couldn't wait to get home so I could hop in a hot shower and go to bed. I get up the stairs. I noticed something weird. The door to my mama apartment was just sitting in the jar. She probably left it open so she could snap on me as soon as I came in for taking so long. I walked through the door and what I see rattled me. Her front room was ramshack. The table was turned over, broke, pictures on the floor. The bar stool was on this side. Oh, what? I continue to look and what I see. My mama legs hanging from the kitchen. She was laid out on the floor. I rushed to out. M- mama, what happened? I ain't know what was going on. She just looked as if she couldn't really speak. Ah, mama, what happened? She was trying to open her mouth to talk, but it was like her jaw was sore or something. I helped her off the floor and sat her up. I, mama, what happened? She, he forced me in the house and beat my ass and held her eye. Tears started falling out. Who, mama? I needed an answer. She, I don't know. I never seen him before in my life. What Bay said to me played back in my head. I, wait a minute. Then I reached into my pocket and pulled out my phone to show her Wody. I, him? She looked. She, yeah. Yeah, that's him. Buddy really put hands on my mama. Then it hit me. I, mama, where's Brazil? She started bawling. He stole my baby. He stole my baby. What? (laughs) Okay. Y'all see, this shit didn't get real. And it took my little sister. This nigga that went overboard, beat my mama up in some old shit. I need y'all help in trying to figure out what to do next. Should I just call the police so this situation could be taken care of? Or should I just take it in my own hands and find my sister? Drop it in the comments what y'all want me to do next. And on the next episode of Black Chicago Be Like Power 104, Power 4, we're going to see what's to it. Let me know what's up. Oh, God. I ain't having, now I'm having shit. I got money in my cabinets. I owe a fortune on my taxes, sis. I got my SUV mad at it. I ain't having now, I'm having shit. I ain't having now, I'm having shit. I'm a problem, bitch, I'm calculating. I need all the numbers. I just put that shit on.